Now let's check out a dual sport machine from the folks at BMW Motorrad Canada. Recently, BMW introduced their G450X, calling it a sport enduro. A liquid-cooled, dual overhead cam, 450cc single-cylinder dirt bike. Designed to tackle both your favorite off-road riding area, while its headlights, mirrors and turn signals will allow you to get to the off-road by legally blasting down public fire roads or twisty back roads. Think serious play bike here. Meanwhile, thanks to its fuel injection and catalytic converter, the X is also serious about the environment, i.e. this is an extremely clean running machine. And that 45mm Mirachi upside down front fork up front and multi-adjustable Olin's rear suspension out back means the clean running can also be smooth running. Now we know the 450X looks good standing still, but how does it perform both in the dirt and out on the open road? Well this week we invited Inside Motorcycles dirt journalist and veteran off-road rider Frank Wood to spend the weekend with the X. And after a couple of days of putting it through its paces, well, let's just say he wouldn't let go of the key. So Frank, uh, not a huge market segment, you know, this, this uh, sort of play bike on off road, especially with the ones that are a little more hardcore and more focused towards off road. But BMW's taken a crack at it. What was your first impression when you picked up the bike? I, I think if anything, Dave, the word that comes to mind is surprise. BMW makes a dirt bike and it's a great one. Well, they, they definitely wanted it uh, to be tested on the dirt, which you did earlier this yes. week. And then they, they really wanted to see how it would perform on the street. So let's break it down a little bit. What were your impressions of the motor once you got off road? Very strong, um, particularly the, the gearbox really impressed me. Very, very slick. And, and that's something that I hadn't really noticed that much off road, but on road, uh, it really shone. Yeah. Easy to find neutral. Uh, an extremely strong motor. I mean, uh, the, the motor is so strong, it's uh, just torque coming out of everywhere. Um, low speed impressed me as well. First gear plunking through the bush and what have you and picking your lines through the stumps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right. Pulls from low RPM very, very strongly, but it doesn't jump out of your hands. Right. Stopping, you know, you've got some pretty impressive looking brakes up there. What, what, what was it like to stop it? They work really, really well. As a matter of fact, the one thing that I had to get used to is how well they do work. Um, uh, the, my usual mount doesn't have brakes that work that well. And for instance, uh, first couple of times I rode it, I found myself locking up the back wheel, for instance, which incidentally comes in very handy at times to be able to lock up that back, back wheel, right. slide it and get a good uh, hard turn going. But, but uh, I guess uh, getting used to it and just using very gentle break uh, but very progressive brakes and uh, no surprises. Now the cool thing about this bike is you can hammer it in the dirt but then you've got lights you know turn signals mirrors everything you need a horn and, and you get out on the street and you can use it to cut over to the next field or or even just to commute to work so how did you find all the controls for the street? Just superb typical BMW quality exactly what I expected uh, from them uh, um, there are some some differences, you know, subtle differences. Some subtle and some not so subtle. As an example, the gas tank, for instance, the gas cap is right behind your backside, and the gas tank itself is down low. Of course, the centralization of mass really helps with that handling. Right. So tell us just overall. It's a thumper. You're out on the street. You got the knobby tires. Um, you know, where does that fit into the game plan? Like, how do you see it being used in terms of a street bike? Well, the, the, the tires are going to be a bit of a trade-off, in all honesty. Um, they're going to wear quickly uh, on, on the asphalt, and, and they are designed, and as the folks at BMW Motorrad Canada told me when I picked it up, make no mistake about it, this is a dirt motorcycle, right. albeit with all these street uh, uh, niceties, shall yeah. we say, but it is a dirt motorcycle, and, uh, and, it, and, and in a, in a dual-purpose mode, uh, I would give it an A, for sure. So who would you recommend this bike to? Where would me. you recommend? <laughs> no, you can't keep it. Who do you recommend it to? What are they going to do with it? Guys like myself, for instance, uh, who are dirt bike riders now, who might have a, a dirt bike for the for weekend play and a street bike for, for the uh, road uh, twisting, what have you. This is the kind of motorcycle, for instance, that you could ride up into the northern regions of northern Ontario on the highways and then boogie off into as tight a trail as you wish to, to, uh, to tackle. Right. And then get back on the road again and have a, uh, a good ride home. Sounds like it's also a pretty good bike for the county. Most definitely. Might have to leave it right here. I think it proved itself well for that today. <laughs> good job, Frank. Thank you, David.